Okay guys, the next keyword we are going to be learning about is the const keyword. Now the const keyword is used to create read-only named constants. And the const keyword is similar to the let keyword in the sense that const declarations are also block scoped and they are not hoisted. However, a value must be mandatorily set with const declaration and this value cannot be changed at a later point within the same scope. So let us see what I mean by that. Let's create let num1 and this is completely fine. We can have a let declaration. However, when using the const declaration, let's try out const num2. Now it has a red underline. It says that const declarations must be initialized. So apart from having a variable declared, we also need to initialize it when using the const keyword. So const num2 is equal to 10 works completely fine. Now there is a catch when declaring, declaring an object with the const keyword. Let us see what that is. Let's create a new object. obj1 is equal to, and let's say name and jotmon. And let's console.log obj1.name and let me change this to con okay let me change it to const obj1 okay so let's save this and over here we have the word jotmon now there's two things that we can do the first thing which won't work is assigning a new object to obj1 so obj1 is equal to this does not work. If I hover over it, it says left hand side of an assignment expression cannot be a constant. So either we have to remove this const and replace it by let or we have to remove this right hand side. That is one thing. Now what does work is assigning new values to the properties of the object. So obj1 obj1 dot name can be set equal to Chandler. And we can have console.log obj1.name. Now when I save this over here, we see Jodmon and Chandler. So just remember with const declarations, you need to initialize at the point of declaration and you cannot reassign a value. With object declared using the const keyword, you cannot assign a new object. However, you can assign a new value to the property of the object. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover about the const keyword. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.